So did your dog eat your uh, remote? Do you need to buy a new one? Do you need to pair an existing one to your Chromecast with Google TV? In this video, we're gonna investigate all of these options, including buying a new remote for the Chromecast with Google TV. Before we do, IP Vanish is sponsoring this video. They have a sale on till the end of November where uh, you get 76% off, less than three bucks a month. This is for new users. There's a link in the description below. So if you want to surf the internet in anonymity, you want to get IP Vanish. Additionally, too, this video is being recorded with the Cloner Alliance Box Pro. If you want one of these to record stuff, click the link in the description below. And additionally, don't forget to subscribe to my channels. So if something has happened to your Chromecast with Google TV remote, there's an easy solution now. You can simply go to the Google store and do a search for voice remote for Chromecast with Google TV and click the buy button and they'll send you a new one, which sounds like a good option, at which point you can pair the device. Now, when it comes to pairing the device, you can pair this device or even pair to, uh, a remote from a different box, perhaps uh, Amazon Fire TV stick and uh, now I'm going to show you how to do both of those things with your replacement remote. Our name, and then we'll move down to settings. Click on settings. Next, we're going to navigate down until we reach remotes and accessories. Let's click on that. If you're going to pair a new device, we can click on pair the accessory here. And then it's just simply you need to hold down um, perhaps the home button if you're doing a Fire TV. Once you've uh, had your device in pairing mode, it'll appear on the right hand side here. You can click on it and then it will pair to the uh, Google Chromecast.